Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy coming in for our weekly tip. All right, today's tip is actually once again on teams. All right, so previously we talked about how you can actually notice if you are on a team or the two big places to access teams, whether it's over inside the contacts or obviously over inside the opportunities on here too. All right, but another big thing that you can actually do as a team member is add inside an admin. All right, so prior you obviously would have to have the admin added into Winmore so they can get a MyKW account. Well, now they can actually have access to the back end of your command account by giving them admin access. All right, so if you're on a team and once again, you see your team option up here at the top, all right, so just to let you know, it'll say select team up here. All right, then we can click on our name at the top right up here and select settings, that third option down. All right, now under the settings, not only will you have all of your options for your connected applications, you'll also have your marketing profile on here. All right, but under settings via the command settings that we'll see on here, all right, then if you notice, the second option down will say add admin. Now, once again, some of these items, if you aren't on a team or don't currently have a team, it's not showing up here, all right, you might not be able to see them, and that's okay. All right, so if we click on add admin, though, all right, then here you go. All right, so it'll take you through the Kelly guide of adding an admin. What should I expect to get out of this guide? All right, learn how to add an admin for your ease. All right, new user creation and then review and confirm. So if I click on get started on here, there we go. All right, so now I can actually go through and I can create admins. First and foremost, I'll select my team. I'll create that admin on here. And then simple enough, we'll select the Rainmaker. Lori on here, I can put inside the name, the last name, the email address, all right, and then even the password on here too. All right, so I've added in the password, I confirmed it on here. Oh, I could have sworn I made a match, but let's double check. <laughs> Sorry, clicked on the eyeball to see that I capitalized one letter on accident. All right, oh, let's put that connected on here. There we go. All right, so you successfully created a new administrative account. All right, copied clipboard. So here's the username, here's the email address. So definitely jot this down. All right, and then once I click on summary over here, now I happen to have this person added in immediately. All right, so as you can see, review and confirm any updates, confirm the information you've entered, and manage any existing administrative accounts. So here's the name, here's the username, here's their email address. Review permissions on here, review and confirm the changes you've made. All right, so I'm gonna approve this. And confirm now what's next all right so now in contacts looks like they might have an extra t on there <laughs> click add to smart plan all right go back to your settings page and then visit your dashboard and pick from an array of valuable tools so there you go so i can exit out of this and that's how simple it is to add over an admin all right so i'm going to go back to my settings real quick click on the add admin option and then once again you can do this as well a second time all right, so I just want to give you a heads up. That's how simple it is to add admins over to have access to the back end of command. So there you go. So that is your Kated Command tip for the day.